Hi guys, it's Just Modest Fiction and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my most disappointing reads of 2021. All right, guys, so this list is pretty short. I actually ended up reading a lot of very good books in 2021. So there were only a few books that I wasn't crazy about. And I also debated making this video just because reading is subjective. So just because I didn't love these books, it doesn't mean that you won't. So I would still give all of the books on this list a try. I'm just gonna explain a brief synopsis of each book and then why I wasn't crazy about it. Now, if you're unfamiliar with my channel, I post new videos every Thursday and Sunday. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. You can also hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I post new bookish content. You can also check out my Instagram. It's linked down in the description below. And with all of that out of the way, let's talk about my most disappointing books of 2021. All right, guys, so I'm gonna do this by genre. I'm gonna start off with fantasy romance. So first up, we have Phoenix Unbound by Grace Draven. I wanted to love this. So I was on a Grace Draven kick after I read um, another book by her that I really loved. I think the name is Radiance, but I might be wrong. I'm gonna leave it on the screen. But anyway, I picked this up with such high hopes and I ended up not really loving it. So it's following our main character who in her world, um, all of these villages sacrifice a woman every year to like be burned at the stake. And people just like watch this, I think as like entertainment from what I remember. And there are also gladiators that are like fighting each other and it's just very horrific. And our main character is impervious to fire, so her village just keeps sending her over and over so they don't have to send another woman. And then a gladiator realizes this and is like, you need to help me out, I'll help you out, or else I'm gonna tell everyone that they've been sending the same woman over and over. So it's these two, the gladiator and the switches like journey together, and it's just very slow paced. The beginning was very violent. I believe there's sexual assault that happens also in the beginning and I just could not get into it. So unfortunately, I wasn't a huge fan of this and this was probably one of my least favorite fantasy romances I read in 2021. All right, next up is a book I thought I read in 2020, but apparently I read it in the very beginning of 2021 and that is Flames of Chaos by Amelia Hutchins. So I've already ranted about this book a few times, so I'm gonna keep this very brief, but it's following this girl or Amelia, who's one I think of five witches and one of their sisters goes missing in like the human world and they travel to the human world and they find out that this guy named Knox, who I think is a warlock, has decided to name himself King and Arya and Knox are like fighting right in the beginning, but then it becomes very sexual very quickly. And I just hated the writing in this book. I just thought it was so over the top and ridiculous. Um, this book, since I've read it, has gained a decent amount more popularity, so I think people should check it out. Um, personally, I just couldn't get past the writing, and Knox as a character was just irritating to me, and I just was not a fan. So yeah, I did not continue on with the series after that, but like I said, a lot of people do really enjoy this. I've had a few people recommend me this book, so I think if you like fantasy romance, I would still give it a shot. All right, this next book, I'm not exactly sure if you can classify as fantasy romance. It's like sci-fi romance, but that is... Ice Planet Barbarians by Ruby Dixon. So I have so many mixed feelings about this book. Um, it was very hyped, very talked about, and I finally got around to reading it. It follows the main character, Georgie, who is kidnapped by aliens to be like sold almost into like the sex trade. And the aliens that kidnapped her realize they have too many like passengers aboard. Something happens, they drop the cargo on this random planet that is inhabited by blue aliens that purr and Georgie and one of the main aliens end up forming a relationship very quickly, and the story goes from there. It was an interesting time. I will not be continuing with the rest of this series. I just, it just, it was weird. It was, I don't know if I wanna read about blue aliens and people. There are like five other girls that are with Georgie, and I'm assuming as the series progresses, we find out about their relationships with the blue aliens, but, yeah, just wasn't a fan. However, if you want to give alien romance a shot, this is probably a good place to start. All right, moving into contemporary romance. So this first one was another one that was very popular and I really wanted to like it. I just didn't really connect with the characters. And that is Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade. So this is following a plus size woman who ends up being very obsessed with the show that's similar to Game of Thrones and she writes a lot of fan fiction for it. And she doesn't realize that one of the people she's writing fanfic with and for, like one of her friends on this platform, is actually one of the main characters that is in this show. And he is secretly writing fanfic for the show he's in. And then he also, I believe, has dyslexia. 
and they end up going on a date and then it goes from there and there's little bits of like the fanfic written throughout the book. I loved the idea of the book. I just didn't, I don't know. I just couldn't feel connected to either character. I got about halfway through. I kept putting it down. I didn't want to pick it back up. And it was just really slow for me. And like I said, I think this is more to do with me and Olivia Dade's writing. I tried another one of her books and I also just couldn't get invested in the characters. I wasn't really gripped. So for me, this was a miss. A lot of people absolutely love this book and this series. I believe the second book just came out and a lot of people really enjoyed it. So I would give this book a shot. I wasn't a fan, but once again, I think that has more to do with the writing. I really like the idea of the story. And next is a book that might come as a surprise because it is a very beloved contemporary romance, and that is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. I tried reading this book three times. I got about four or five chapters in and ended up giving it up every single time. I just cannot feel connected with these characters at all. I hate office romances, which is very upsetting, but I've tried a few different office romances and end up DNFing all of them. So I think that's just a me thing. Office romances and me just do not work. And I'm kind of bummed because I think the movie is coming out really soon and a lot of people are talking about it. I will go see the movie and maybe that'll inspire me to get through the book. But as of now recording this, I just could not get through the hating game. And next up is Enjoy the View, and this is by Sarah Morgenthaler. So this is the third book in the Tourist Attraction series, the Tourist Attraction being one of my absolute favorite holiday reads. I love it. Please, if you have not read the Tourist Attraction, check it out. It's so good. This one, however, I didn't love. It was just a miss. So this book is very long, I feel like, for being a holiday romance, and we're following one of my main characters from this series. I believe his name is Graham and he goes up the lot or he goes up he's a mountain climber and he takes like tours up there and then we meet the main girl who i just hated the love interest in this she just seemed very into herself very egotistical and i just didn't care about their relationship and honestly while i was reading this i just kept saying graham deserves better than her so i didn't love this and i like i said i think the main problem with sarah morgenthaler's tourist attraction series is that they're very very long for holiday reads so overall just didn't love it and next up is Abel by Katie Roberts. So I love Katie Roberts' writing. I love her whole Wicked Villain series. It's really, really fun. And other books by her I've read I've really enjoyed. This one I was just not a fan of. I did not connect to. So this is following, I think it's like a mafia romance and it's following this group of, I think it's brothers and they end up going to this, I wanna say convention and that is not the right word, but they go to this meeting and they end up fighting in order to get brides from like the different mafia houses. And this is just the first one and I could not get into it. It was just very sexual off the bat, which typically like, I don't mind that, but I just didn't feel like there was very much of a story here. This felt like a lot of smut with very little plot line. I don't know if the rest of the series changes and that it becomes more like fleshed out. However, this one in particular, I, it wasn't for me. <laughs> so unfortunately, I didn't finish this. I have read other Mafia romances that I really enjoyed. The Brutal Birthright series by Sophie Lark. Check that out. It is so good. But unfortunately, Abel just was a miss for me. And one of my biggest disappointments when it comes to romance was Verity by Colleen Hoover. So I read It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover and I was just blown away. It was so good. One of my top reads of 2021. And then I read Ugly Love, which I also really, really enjoyed. And then I read Verity and I hated it. I just feel like this book didn't know exactly what it wanted to be. It feels very like mystery thriller, but also we have the typical like trauma you get with Colleen Hoover. And I just, I didn't love it. I just felt like after I finished it, it just didn't feel complete. I saw the twist coming like a mile away and I just was not a fan of this at all. This is one of my most disappointing reads of this entire video. I was just so upset after I finished it. So yeah, not a fan. However, Colleen Hoover, I still think is an amazing author and I will be reading more of her works in the future. And last up is horror. So I have two books for this. The first one is The Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. So I read Horror Store and The Southern Book Club's Guide to Selling Vampires. And I really enjoyed both of those books. So I was very excited when this book was coming out. And I just didn't like it. Um, I didn't love the main character. I thought the writing was gross, but not in a like eerie gross kind of way. It was just like very hard for me to get through and read. Um, Grady Hendrix was amazing when it comes to imagery. Like his images really stick in your brain. And this one in particular, it just felt more like gross than uncomfortable, if that makes any sense at all. 
But I also hated uh, the main character that we're following. She just made some really questionable choices and frustrating choices throughout this. And I just didn't love this. It was very slow paced. It took me a very long time to get through, especially when other Grady Hendrix books I've read in a day, in a few hours. I think Horror Story ended up reading in like three hours. So was not a fan, unfortunately. However, Grady Hendrix as an author, I still think is absolutely amazing. And next up we have White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson. And I really debated putting this on this list or not because I loved the three fourths of this book so much. I just loved the main character. I loved how she's dealing with anxiety and she's using a certain substance as a coping mechanism. And we get to see how her family deals with that while all of this is going on in a haunted house. So this is following a girl who moves into a new house and she is terrified. She has a lot of anxiety uh, surrounding bed bugs and she used to do something medicinally in order to cope with that and her family is very against that. So she's trying to start fresh. So her family doesn't really trust her and she's seeing these things in this house thinking it's haunted and it goes from there and I really enjoyed it. The ending of this book I thought was terrible. It completely cuts off and you need another three chapters to really like delve into what happened and I just did not enjoy the ending of this book at all. It felt unfinished and that is why I just, I, after I finished it, I just felt so frustrated. So that's why it's on here. I think it is a good read. I think it's a creepy read. However, the ending just really, really killed it for me. So I will never be rereading this and I don't really recommend this to people. However, if you do want a scary haunted house-esque story, I would pick this one up. And last up is The Push by Ashley Audrain. So this was a very uncomfortable read and I think the book did exactly what it set out to do. Um, I was questioning the mother throughout this entire thing. This is following a woman whose daughter, she's trying to figure out if she is a, I don't wanna say psychopath, but the daughter is showing some very disturbing behaviors and we don't know if it's because we're seeing everything through the mom's lens or if the daughter actually does have some of these behaviors that the mother is saying she has. So I just, this book just freaked me out and I didn't love being, I hated being in this woman's head. And like I said, I think the book did exactly what it set out to do. I just felt so uncomfortable and just bad while I was reading this. So I will never pick this book up again. However, if you want a disturbing like psychological horror, I think this is a good one. Um, I also recommend Baby Teeth by Zoe Stage. That one feels a little bit more medical and I was much more comfortable reading Baby Teeth than I was reading this, but both I think are pretty good books. So this was good, just nothing I will ever read again and I wish I never read it. All right guys, those are my least favorite books of 2021. Like I said, reading is subjective, so I'm really sorry if one of these books was your favorite. Uh, let me know in the comments if you did really enjoy any of these books and why. I just wanna hear you guys' opinions. And I said this already, but I post new videos every Thursday and Sunday. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. I will see you all next week, bye.